Hey, what's going on, guys and guys? Chef PV. Uh, Troy here, Team B Rotor, all that stuff. Zero Grind FPV. Uh, today, we have our little tiny whoop here on the board, and I actually was just doing some work on uh, my new frame, and actually, I needed to switch some motors out. And I wanted to give you guys um, kind of a rundown of this new frame that I'm running. So, this frame is a TPU mount frame uh, or TPU printed frame and it is actually the Andy Shin version the Goldberg uh, licensed frame and I bought mine through Heli Nation for they were on sale for like five bucks the other day so I threw two of them in a bag I ordered them and um, you know usually I've never had an issue with Heli Nation shipping but uh, funny enough these went about four or five days and I never got a shipping uh, uh, shipment confirmation so i hit patrick up and i was like hey man i just wanted to double check on my order uh and he was like oh my gosh man i'm sorry it slipped through the cracks i'm not even sure how it's never happened like seriously i've never had a problem with heli nation um he said i'll get it out today no problem and i'll toss something in there so i also just wanted to show you how awesome he was dude sent two sets of props with these and you know you know the cost of these props if you're trying to buy them so uh, that's pretty dope for him to send me a couple of free props just for literally maybe two days extra, and, you know, before it shipped. So really cool. Uh, but I did get it in and I did convert my whoop over. Um, I just recently had an issue with a motor that was burning up an ESC apparently or whatever the controller. Um, I fixed my controller um, and found that which motor I guess it might have been. So I'm going ahead and I'm switching out the motors and while doing it, I wanted to just show you why I really am digging this frame. Um, it really is very cool. So I actually already started taking this one off. So here I'll show you. So this is the frame as it sits. It's, you know, there it weighs, it says on the website, six and a half grams, but I'm getting more like five and a half grams on my scale. So, um, it just very interesting. So here we go. Camera just snaps right into that front piece, so it just pulls right up. These are already actually even turned, but the board, if you need to change the board or get to the motors underneath, you can literally just pull the board right out. No screws needed. So, TPU flexes, you just kind of move it off, and it comes right off those little standoff mounts. So now, I can go in and I can pull a motor wire out. And now here, it's got like a frame brace, like the way this frame is, it's one piece, but what you do is, with that one, yeah, you pull the base of the motor cap off, and then obviously you gotta take off your prop. Then the motor just slips out. So the motor sits in this cavity here, it's got like a little lip that you can only go so far with it, boom. And then this pressure plate goes down and squeezes it together. You can wrap your wires along the arms that are left over there. Um, just very, very cool. So very easy to basically take a motor and on a tiny whoop frame, I would have to disconnect all my motors, pull the board with some screws and the canopy just to change that one motor out. But instead, I'll take this one and this quickly I can literally change a motor. You take the wire and before you insert it you just wrap around that peg, push it back through. Now, by the way tweezers are such a great idea to have these little modeler tweezers. Boom. I essentially now could plug my board back in right here, easy enough, mount it there, mount it there, peel it here, there, boom, take my camera, put my camera back on, take the motor, boom, put a prop on it and I'm ready to fly again, like if I just needed to change one motor. I am now ready to fly again. That is just ridiculous. The ability to just work. I mean, I could literally build this quad from just the parts with two solders, essentially. I could build one of these things in like four or five minutes if I just had the parts laying out on the bench already. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know why that's just pretty dope and amazing to me, but it really is. Um, so 
The Goldberg frame, I got mine from Heli Nation. I'm not sure where else you can get them. I'm sure you can get them elsewhere. Um, I'll tell you, after I kind of fly it for a little while, I'll give you a fuller, a, a better review. But for now, that's what I'm flying. Pretty dope. Fly safe, fly smart. Just...